subscribe, people. Last time on YouTube, I was asked different questions about sports I liked. I said, I like basketball, soccer, volleyball, it's, those things kind of wage. I love swimming. But later on, I got a comment asking people if I collected Yu-Gi-Oh! one time. <laughs> I said, yeah, I did. Which is the truth. I have a stack of these here that I'm going to sell. But then they asked me if I could show them an Egyptian god card online. I don't get the point of it, but I'll show you it. These are the best cards you can get. Now, my Wing Dragon Raw is lost, so you're going to have to adjust without it. Slifer Sky Dragon. Don't worry about the outline, it's just a little marking. This is Slifer. <coughs> Obelisk the Tormentor. <coughs> <clears throat> Another card that's kind of like Obelisk. The Wicked Dreadroot. Looks very scary. <laughs> Kather Glider, a very old card. My personal favorite. Another personal favorite. I had a friend once named Relic. We liked this card the most. Now, we all, of course, know of Dark Musician. Well, in this stack of extremely rare cards, just let me find them. I did not prepare myself for this. As you can see, I've been basically just collecting and selling. Oh yeah, by the way, if you ever want them, just email me up. <laughs> Ten bucks a stack. Because these are really rare cards. A lot of them are shiny very hard to get nowadays. You'll have to go like on eBay and pay like twenty dollars for one card. Uh, Gate Guardian. This card used to be a legend. Sphinx with Pyramid Light. Tent Great Sphinx. Sphinx Talina. Andra Sphinx. The Pyramid Light. Panther Warrior. Almost here. There we are. 
Now, a long time ago, there used to be a little thing on YouTube about whether or not they would sell a certain card. Now, this certain card was a fusion of both. Dark Position and, well, his greater. Buster Blader. Together, Dark Position and Buster Blader would make Dark Paladin. That card is extremely rare. The condition that it is, extremely rare. Now, some of you emailed me asking me how big's the stack? for the ten dollars because of course you don't want to get ripped off. Well I'm just gonna come right out with it. Ugh. All extremely rare cards, people. I don't have enough time to show you all of them, so you'll have to wait until next time. And if you ever need the thing about him, there was also a card that came out called Supply. Now this card would bring back two monsters used for fusion summon to your hand. This card is very helpful. <laughs> hmm. wonder where I put it. Uh, this is a rare magic card too, you can only get in China. It doesn't have its name at the top, but the real name is Dark Lord's Destruction. And it has a good effect too, so. You know what, people, I can't find them. So, yeah, you're going to have to wait till next time for that, too. But when you use Supply, you can bring back both of these guys. <coughs> when you do, this card is made to upgrade the Dark Position. So, Including with the Egyptian God cards, because I'm not going to sell a big thing of it. <coughs> Full deck. Two Egyptian God cards. All the Sphinx, all the Musicians, Gate Guardian. For $10. That's all. Then you can go them away. So, people, the main question of me was, do I collect it anymore? No, I don't. I used to once, but I do not. So, till next time, people, I'm afraid you will have to say goodbye to Hot Kittable and email me or put in a comment if you want to buy them. Thank you and have a good day.